Kubo and the Two Strings is a stop-motion animation film and stars the voices of Charlize Theron, Matthew McConaughey, and Ralph Fiennes. And I just want to go completely on record and say there are parts of this film I didn't like. Does it make it a bad film? No. Because this film is absolute perfection. However, there are things about this film I didn't like. And the little problems I had with this movie really don't hurt the film. It's just slight little nitpicks that I noticed in the film and I just couldn't get out of my head. Before I get to my nitpicks, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the plot. The film is about a young boy named Kubo who who after an incident is sent to find three magical artifacts to help aid him in his battle against the Moon King. And it's a good story, don't get me wrong, I love this story, but this is one of my nitpicks. There are inconsistencies and slight holes in the story. Like there are some things that aren't explained and I just always, it left me scratching my head just like, is that it? I felt like they could have told more and like to, to, fill, to fill in the holes. And it's near the end of the film where the story gets a bit more confusing and the film nearly lost me here. Another nitpick is the first act is a bit slow. Like this first act is well paced, well told out. However, it was a bit slow and it did feel like a bit of a drag to get to the good stuff. And once the monkey comes in, that's when the film started to really pick up. And once again, Charlie's Theron gives a performance that adds weight to the film. And even if a film is good or bad, Charlie's Theron adds so much weight to it. In fact, a lot of the voice actors also do a good job. And I have to give praise to the filmmakers for like these well-designed characters. They looked interesting. And more and I have to give more praise to the animation as it, abs it absolutely looks breathtaking. And, I'm, and stop motion is my favorite type of animation. As with stop motion, you can tell more in-depth stories and you, can ex and you can show the expressions on characters' faces more. But of all the stop motion films I have seen, none of them have looked as seamless as this. In fact, there were a couple of times where I forgot I was watching a stop motion film because you could barely notice any of the slight little jitters going on. And like it just it just ran smoothly and seamlessly and this was breathtaking. And this film hits every other mark. Like there's good action, good comedy and it was funny and good and very good and very good locations in this film. And of course this film felt like art. Other than those little nitpicks, I absolutely love this film. Cuz like Stop Motion is hands down my favorite animation, as I've mentioned. This was a well-told story with great characters, great visuals, great animation. And I, I definitely recommend this. And this, and this film was by the production company Leica, and they have made, you know, they, and they have made a bunch of other stop motion films as well, like Paranorman, Coraline, Box Trolls. And while I 100% didn't fully like this movie as I wanted to, this film still hits a lot of bullseyes and targets I very much enjoyed. And I'm not going to give it an overall high score as these little nitpicks and little inconsistencies in the plot did bother me, but I'm going to give this film an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. I'm Netix5. Thank you for watching.